your best. That's all you can do. I've been searching. today's video I am going to walk you through how I am setting up our homeschooling center our classroom if you will so I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of what we've been doing show you some of the curriculum that we've used and then kind of walk you through how we're setting up our dining room slash classroom so keep watching and and hopefully this helps you uh, excited to be on this journey with you. If you have not subscribed yet or given this video a thumbs up, please do so. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you. We're turning our dining room into the homeschool central part of the house for the kids. It's got better lighting. It's got the table. Um, less distractions as far as like, you know, there's no TVs or anything like that. So I'm cleaning it up because though they've been doing schoolwork at the table, I have all of the stuff that we haven't set up yet, like our charts and what? different things. So anyway, I'm getting ready to just clean the floors, get everything ready, and get to town on getting our makeshift school set up. So, so stay tuned. We got a bunch of really cool stuff, and I think it'll really help the boys with their excitement towards school and learning, and want to actually sit down and and focus on school. So, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about this. So I got the floors clean and mopped and everything off of them. So, so now we're getting ready to get started. Okay, so excuse the, the mess on the table here. I'm, I got everything scattered helter skelter. So I'm putting some of the little posters on the wall. This is again in the dining room. I'm not a teacher. This is my first go teaching Forgive me for the Fortnite music in the background. The boys are having a dance off. So anyway, this is kind of my son's holler and dance teacher. I think he's trying to be funny. Well, we have been homeschooling, just kind of doing some uh, review, basically. Sorry, I had to quiet the boys down. Anyway, we've been doing review for the last couple, I don't know, two weeks. Not super structured or anything like that, but I have... I'm the bit, like one of the biggest procrastinators. And I've had all of the stuff that I bought off of Amazon. And I finally just, I thought, I need to get it set up. Why buy it if I'm not going to use it? And this will make learning fun. Say goodbye to my dining room and hello to our new classroom. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So I bought like 20 of these totes with lids. They're just Sterilite totes. These are for their little math pieces. I have a whole bunch, like, big amounts of, like, pencils and stuff. I just have some stuff in here. They're dry erase markers. They're glue. Tons of these erasers and then some more supplies that we don't need. These notebooks. One of the coolest things that I decided to get for the boys, and they were, like, two for 20, are these cool little, and they're double-sided. So the mistake that I made, I thought it was a pack of two. Well, it was just a double side. I just need to order one more. I ordered a bigger one for myself that I can, I'm going to hang it like somewhere to where I can write on it, make little notes, whatever. Nothing too crazy. And heck, I might even put it right there on my door because we don't use that door. I don't like using that door, especially like eight months out of the year with all the rain and mud. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have a frog in my throat. Anyway, we don't use that door because I don't want the traction in here, so. This is our classroom. I think it's pretty exciting, pardon the mess in the background. Another cool thing, I've got a whole bunch of these little dry erase. The boys are fighting. So these are dry erase sleeves, so I guess I hung them up backwards, but the boys have been using these just kind of do some practice sheets. So we have the numbers one through 100. We have farm animals. Opposite numbers one through ten. Then we have the days of the week, also the months of the year. I gotta back up over here because I'm too close. I'm in between the tables. So then we have our little calendar where we can also do the days of the week. I have little uh, deals that I can swap out for other months. 
And then our calendar, these are all, just, you can take them in and put them back, you know. Um, and then there's folders down here so you can put the extra stuff in there. Uh, a weather chart, seasons. Although the seasons chart is a little deceiving, my kids are blowhorns. Anyway, although it's a little deceiving because here in Oregon, we do not have four seasons, we have two. And if you know anything about Oregon, that would be like spring and winter, or you could even say summer and winter, but there's like really not four seasons here, so anyway. Also a little chart to help with learning to tell time, shapes, 3D shapes and 2D. Alphabet and then a color chart. I may eventually get like the bigger letters for the alphabet to go like around the room, but I just haven't gotten that far yet. I figure we're kind of new to the, not kind of, we're like completely new to the whole homeschooling thing. So we're just, we're diving in, but I know that we'll be adding stuff as we go. Um, and then in just a few minutes, I'll show you some of the curriculum that we have. And then I'll let you go see the boys do a few worksheets. It's kind of basic. I also So that is our homeschool setup. So apparently the boys are excited. I'm not doing school right now. But they like dry erase boards. Yeah. Yeah. And coloring. And somebody colored on my table. Who was it? Blue. No, seriously. Blue. I think I did because I was on the other side. Don't mark on the table, Riker. Okay. Board only. You got a board, you got to mark on the table. I'm, I'm nervous. I think we're all nervous. I think what I'm most nervous about is like failing my kids. Like, am I going to actually teach them something? Are they going to be behind? There's like all of these questions I have. There's so many unknowns. But the good thing about this is we're all in the same boat or the majority of us i mean even a lot of the people that are um their kids are going to like a public school a lot of those kids are still doing like zoom you know distance learning right now so you know what just dive in and do your best that's all you can do they're worth it breathe deep you look so peachy while I was doing this. Yeah. Your brothers are blue horns. Yes, they are. So what is this that you're working on? It's in the middle one. I need a red. And then Easton is working on this book here. Draw and discover. No. So Riker just finished this and he did a great job. Remember to write your name up here. You are doing a great job there, buddy. So here is some of our stuff. Like I said, this is just part of it. I do have a bunch more that I ordered off of Amazon and that should be here soon. Um, but yeah, this is about kind of what we're working with. of what Riker did yesterday. This is mainly just review from kindergarten. One thing Riker needs to work on is his handwriting. So you can see he is working on capitals and lowercase. And this is just one of the worksheets. I have some workbooks, some things that I've printed off the internet. So just a variety of different things. Another one that Riker worked on. So anyway, Rikers haven't been using the different colored markers anyway. Plus, he has scented markers and it makes it really fun. But So that was one of the things he did. Here's another baby. A little fun activity. Another one, just a connect the dots. So this, like I said, is just a lot of review. I have the Without Tears books. So I kind of let the boys just work from the front to the back. Easton is kind of just hit and miss because he's, you know, he's three. As you can see. Working on, like I said, reading. He has some books from when he was in his other school. Doing some Bible stories. It's really important to us. 
reading some we have a lot more books this is just some of the books that we're reading right now so this does have a little money chart here and then obviously the checks are above them the debit cards you know the different bills and the change we've been working on counting and incorporating like giving change back one of these nifty place value flip charts i bought this at walmart at the beginning of spring break so i've been making copies of some of these different pages um it's a kindergarten workbook there's activities there's stickers i don't know there's lots of fun stuff i use some of this for Riker, but then i also use some of it for easton um Fun stuff for the kiddos. In workbook. I have teacher's manuals for all of this. Um, this is blast off to reading. Like I said, really working on reading with Riker and Easton. But developing the early learner, I have the teacher's slash parent guide. I guess this, or at least the one I have. Right here. Easton has fun with them. This is kind of the fun book for Easton. Back, front, outside, inside. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if it was helpful for you, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a bunch of homeschool videos, kind of like let's learn together and go through this journey together. Um, I know there's a lot of us in the same boat, so have a great day.